Hi there. We are talking about ways that we can care for one another, reaching out in ways that we can uh, connect with others. Call because you care. John 13, 34 and 35, we hear the words of Jesus when he says, a new command I give you, love one another as I have loved you. So you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. We're at home. We're spread out all across the city. We're the diaspora of Good Shepherd, so to speak. And reaching out and uh, talking with someone, calling them on the phone. You might have to email or text them ahead of time to set up a time to call. But to call them, to let them know you'd like to check in. We've got an acronym to uh, remind us uh, what we're doing. It's CARE. C for connect. A for attend. R for respond. And E for encourage. And before you care, we have kind of a sandwich. We sandwich it in prayer. Pray first. And as we finish, we pray as well. So the first thing you do when you're getting ready to call someone, and if you're a little nervous, you'll probably be driven this way, is you say a prayer. Nothing eloquent, nothing fancy. Just, Lord, be with me as I call. Lord, be with me in this phone call. Lord, be with me in this conversation. And then you call up and you reach out to... Uh, your friend and uh, member of the church. And first, C, you connect. We're seeking to connect each of us to God. Uh, we're connecting ourselves to ourselves, but also we're connecting to others. And by reaching out and calling and checking in, we're, uh, we're doing this C, connect work. And A, attend is a great deal how we do this connecting. We attend. We attend to uh, how people are doing. We attend to their emotions. We ask questions, open questions like, how are you? How are you feeling? And we listen. We take it in. And then the last question we always ask when we're attending is we say, how can I pray for you? And without any uh, comment, we might say back to the person, you've asked me to pray for you as you're uh, waiting for the next load of groceries, and I'll pray for you. Or you've asked me to pray for you as you worry about your children in another city and pray for their health, and I join with you. We simply say back to them what they ask us to pray for. And then R, respond. If there's anything we glean, anything we take away, any way that you can respond, then we note it and we try to respond. If it means that they simply want you to call back and call back soon, we do that. But if there's some other way they need us to respond and they need you beyond you, they need the help of the church or help of others, you pass that on to the clergy, to the church, and uh, let others join with you and respond. And finally, encourage. E, encourage. You listen to what they have to say and you look for something to encourage them in. And if nothing else, you remind them that it means so much to you for you to be able to talk to them. And that's an encouragement. So we're about loving one another, as Jesus told us. And we enact that love with care, connecting, attending, 
responding, and encouraging. And we finish it as we begin it with prayer. We suggest you just offer to pray together in the words that Jesus taught us saying the Lord's Prayer. Or if you want, venture out into the prayer book and morning prayer or evening prayer and find one of the collects for protection or peace or grace or guidance in morning prayer or evening prayer and offer that as your prayer for each other. And in this way, we will know that we are disciples with our love and our care. Thanks for listening. Bless you.